guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about scheduling and running workflows in Informatica. So the definition is, Informatica ATL tool has a built-in scheduler, which is used to uh, schedule the workflows or jobs to run at a specified time interval. Uh, to schedule the workflow, let's take any workflow. So now I am going to take workflow uh, WF underscore m underscore concurrent underscore wf underscore example so here after uh, go to workflows tab and after edit option so here you get a uh, scheduler tab so click there so this is all about <coughs> our workflow can have a reusable or non reusable scheduler attached to it choose reusable to uh, browse through a list of reusable scheduler and select edit. Uh, so about the reusable uh, scheduler, so one time create and you can use uh, many times in different workflow and non reusable. So it's just opposite of reusable. So you you can't uh, use many times. Now here after click this uh, symbol. And this is all about to uh, uh, general tabs. So name of scheduler here you can give uh, mic scheduler underscore mic tab scheduler. If you click on mark as well, so that will be converted into as well uh, workflow. Sorry, as well scheduler. Now here you can give the description. So I'm using for or training purpose. Now here after click on scheduler tab or schedule tab. So by default it's a selected run on demand. So about run on demand or uh, you have to manually run the workflow. And uh, the workflow is not in schedule state. So workflow is uh, not in schedule state. At here, all the options are disabled. So let's click on or run on integration service initialization. So about this one, when the informatical service are restarted, the integration service run the workflow so at here the option run once run every day customize repeat so run once means that will run the the workflow run only one time at the specified start date and the time and uh, run every day Every means the option is used to specify the workflow to run every x tens, y hours, or z minutes, days, hour, minutes, and customize option. So if you uh, click on the ready button of run every, so that all are enabled, and customize repeat. So this option allow more flexible to run workflow daily or weekly monthly basis. So look at them. Uh, this is a weekly. And here also runs once, run every day. So right here, or days, week, month. So if you select on month, so in month, Monday that will run. Or if you select a uh, week, so Monday this uh, weekly option or enable or get enable.
और 733 इज द 735 आर गिवन एंड लेट्स अप्लाई एंड ओके सो एट हियर और और दिस इज ऑल अबाउट समरी रन ऑप्शन रन द इंटीग्रेशन सर्विस इनिशियलाइजेशन शेड्यूल ऑप्शन रन वंस वन टाइम दैट विल रन स्टार्ट डेट ऑफ 14th and start time 7:35 7:34 is the number of runs one time so now uh, set the workflow and right click and at here you will get the option schedule the workflow so now click this one so workflow is uh, schedule on 7:35 am waiting for uh, 35 so 35 come and look at the workflow is in or uh, running state and add a uh, different HR table, HR target table uh, record kit loaded. Uh, because uh, I use the option run once, the workflow run only one time at the specified start date and the time. Now I'm going to select the option run every. So go to workflow. and uh, so here or uh, do modification run every so i'm not selecting day days hour because at here this tutorial about for training purpose so if i select day hour then i have to wait for one day or two day and three hour four hours whatever i i have to give so now i'm at here, I'm going to select your time two minute, and uh, our day our time is 7:39. So now I'm going to give at here or uh, 7:41. So at here, this is the end option. So that will you have. I will discuss first. I'm going to uh, at here select the option forever. Now apply okay so this is all the summary so minute or two days hour zero run schedule option run every and end option run forever so apply and save the workflow and after click schedule workflow so workflow schedule 4744 or date is 8 14 2015 2015 so waiting for 741 So now 741 uh, comes so workflow is in running state. So workflow gets succeeded. Again that is uh, waiting for 743 because I have uh, given 2 minute gap. So right here uh, 743.
Uh, so I do uh, uh, send 43 um, come. So again, uh, workflow is in running a state. And workflow gets succeeded. And here, again, uh, that is uh, scheduled for uh, 745. So because I select the option forever, means the uh, workflow runs forever. There is no end date or for the workflows, so that will uh, continue or that will schedule and after that will run again that will schedule uh, and run. So let's uh, uh, see different end option. So at here uh, end on or uh, date. So you can give the date to uh, seven or uh, more than or uh, fourteenth. So add here or uh, give fifteen. So that will schedule for or uh, fifteen eight two thousand fifteen. And if you apply, so add here that is uh, selected in date or uh, eight fifteen two thousand fifteen. So you have to wait for one day. So this option you will try by your own to see the workflow is running or not. And here after end after. So after end, I'm going to give at here two. And uh, start time 7.45. So after uh, two run, that will uh, terminate. So apply and OK. So add your number of run to start time 746. Or save the workflow and click on Save Workflow. So add your Uh, workflow side you for seven forty six. Uh, so this is preparing for running because seven forty six come and this is a uh, workflow is in running state. And uh, workflow gets succeeded. So add here again that is for uh, waiting for 748. So that is scheduled for 748.
Uh, so 7.48 uh, come. So now add here, look, uh, workflow is in running state. So because I set the option end after or uh, two, uh, so that the workflow is stopped running after the a specified number of run two. So that not again scheduled. So number of runs to also that of after to run workflow gate is stopped. Now next option is uh, customize repeat. So about customize repeat, uh, this option allows more flexible to run the workflow daily and uh, daily, weekly or monthly basis. So that will repeat to uh, one day, select uh, two day, four day, whatever. And add here also the option run once, run every, uh, select the uh, hours minute so I'm not going to check this one because that would take one day time to uh, schedule the workflow and here a uh, week so you select the week basis Monday Tuesday Wednesday and if you enable month so run on the day and run on the first second third fourth and last so this is on day, on month. Because I select the uh, tools run continuously, the integration service run the workflow continuously until the end of the date option. So this is all the basics of Informatica Schedule. So next video I will discuss about how to schedule the workflow by using PMCMD command. So thanks for watching. See you in next video.